Welcome back my learners. Hope everyone is fine. Hope you have been very well since we last I don't know if we met. I don't know. Was it meeting? Okay. I think you know where we stopped. Looking at plurals. We are still looking at plurals. Remember we said we have very many plurals and plurals are under common nouns or countable common nouns. I told you all these nouns have plurals, but how do they change? How do we change each noun to plural? Last time we looked at those ones where we add S, those ones where we add E, S. So today we are coming to another category where we add, so we say plurals that change Y. That means they end with the Y, they change Y to I, and then we add E, S. So we are looking at those plurals. And these plurals are very many. When I come here, it doesn't mean that those ones I've listed here are the only plurals that we are looking at. We have very many of these plurals. I just get some, and then I leave others. Whenever you find them, you still you look at them. So here we come and say, singular then plural, where we change Y to I. For example, baby, it will go for babies. Lady, it will go for ladies. Army, it will go for armies. Library, it will go for libraries. Rory for Rory's copy for copies, like one copy, maybe you are printing out a paper and say, uh, you say you want one copy, then we want more than one, you say copies. City for cities, you have to complete. Country for countries. Fly for Flies, now this is not a verb, this is a verb and a noun. So fly for flies, county for counties. We have very many of these nouns. You'll be looking at them, but what guides us to drop Y? Whenever you find a noun that ends with the Y, but Y is preceded, or Y comes before, sorry, Y comes after a consonant. There we drop Y. That is what guides us to drop Y or to change Y to I. Y coming after a consonant letter, we change Y to I and then add ES in plural. When we come here, we say nouns that end with Y but add S. Yes, these ones end with the Y, but when you are changing them to their plural, we just add S. What, guide, what shows us that here we just add S? Y coming after a vowel letter. We have five vowel letters. So Y coming after a vowel letter, we just add S in the plural form. We don't drop Y. Here we drop Y, because Y is coming after a consonant. Here, when Y comes after a vowel, we just add S. For example, we have trolley for trolleys. Someone asked what is a trolley. Those who go for shopping know what trolley is. That basket where we put our things when we are shopping, and then we can roll it. That is a trolley. Then we have day, then go for days. Boy for boys, tray for trays, key, keys, valley. You see that whenever we add, we end Y is coming after a vowel letter. Valley, you put valleys. Turkey, you'll add turkeys. Donkey, donkeys, and so many others. We are adding S. Then another category is here. 
plural nouns that change F O F E to V. Then add E S. These nouns are also very many, but we shall mention a few of them. For example, we have knife ends with F E. So what will happen? We shall change F E to V. And then we add E S and we say knives. Calf, a young one of a cow, a young one of an elephant, calf, for calves, half, for halves, shelf, for shelves, thief, thieves, leaf, leaves, then life, lives. We can continue. We are going to continue with another category of these nouns. So, after looking at those ones, which, which drop, which change, F O F E to V, we come and look at those ones which end with F, but we just add letter S. For example, we have the word roof, goes for roofs, chief, goes for chiefs, we, here we just add letter S. Proof, for proofs, gulf, for gulfs, then staff, staffs. Now this is staff here, there is staff for A and there is staff for U. This staff here can mean food staffs, kinds of foods, can mean a stick, this one here. But still, there is that staff which means a group of members in a company. So we have golf, goes for golfs, belief, then for beliefs. Here we don't drop F. But here we have a note. The words you see here, we have the dwarf, we have the scarf, we have the wharf, we have the hoof. These ones are very funny. Why? You can either say S, you can say dwarfs, scarfs, wharfs, hoofs, or you can still change this F to V. You can say dwarfs, scarfs, wharfs, then hooves. These ones, whatever side you take it is right so that's why i put a note on them so that when you find them you can either add s or you change f to v we still have another category of plural nouns where we say pronouns that change vowels these ones are very many they are very many but for me i just list some then when you come to any of them can get them and you know how to change them. When you get something you don't understand, when you get a word which you don't, which don't know how to change, you ask. So here we have man. Here we are saying they change vowels. We have man. Vowel A will change to E. And we say men. We come to woman. If you come to Women, you change still A to E. Teeth changes this to to tooth to teeth. Foot to feet. Crisis to crisis. Crisis you change I to E. Oasis to oasis you change still E. La Laos, yeah, I think most of you know those small insects we find in that hair. Laos to lies. Mouse, yeah, those friends of yours in the house, some of you know them. They steal food, even steal money. Mouse to mice. We have radius, it will go for red eye. We have vertex for vertices, axis 
for access, we have very many of them here which change to we change the vowels. So another one we say we have those nouns. They can be counted, but when you count you count them, but still they remain in singular form. They are not uncountable. We can count them, but when we count them, still the word does not change. For example, deer. This is an animal. Deer. You can count them, but even if they are 100, it will remain deer. We have a sheep. Even if they are how many, it will remain sheep. Fish. When you go to the stall in the market, you find many of them. Still, it will remain fish. We have furniture. It will remain furniture. Luggage. Two luggage remains luggage. Garbage. It will remain garbage. Baggage. And so many others. They can be counted, but they remain unchanged. So, these are some of our nouns, common nouns. When we come back, we shall be looking at another category of, count of common nouns. So don't forget all these and very many others. So stay safe. Don't forget to sanitize. Coronavirus is still there. Love you so much.